Words of wisdom to someone who's just beginning a comedy career. I would say, if, for instance, you're doing stand-up comedy, take a little uh, a dictaphone or a recorder to your gigs. You know, take an iPod and just and just record them and listen to them, or take a video camera. You know, keep a record of all those things, and also just all the little ideas that come to your head. Write them down and write them down clearly, because sometimes I write an idea down and I think, oh yeah, I, I remember what that is, and then I come back and the idea just says uh, Cadillac, and I think I can't remember what that meant. I, I didn't write it in enough detail. So really, when you get a great yeah, idea, even on really your mobile think, phone or something, yeah. you can make little notes, text yourself or something like that, yeah. because you never know when you might have a good idea. The other thing I'd say is don't is you know you don't need to try and write a two-hour film. That shouldn't be the first thing you do if you want to get into comedy. Try and write a sketch, you know, just a two-minute sketch, beginning, middle, and end. Get that work up. Maybe try and write a load of sketches. Try and put half an hour together. You know, you don't need to run before you can walk you know and 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 we we only now are we trying to write narratives really up to this point we've generally written sketches you know and uh and and that still awaits us you know i think also go you know go to a bookshop and buy uh the script to something you like your favorite comedy show or movie or something like that and see how scripts are written in terms of how they're set out you know and 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 get a good look because if you're writing a script and it's and you haven't written things clearly and explained them properly, uh, somebody who could potentially make that film will look at it and say, I don't understand this. And they'll be sent a lot of scripts and they probably won't linger on yours for a long time. So it's really worth, if you're interested, seeing how people communicate their ideas. I think it's, it's really important to do that. It's, that's a, a simple thing that anybody can do. And try and write about what you know about. So if there's people you know you find funny in your family or in your local area or whatever, try and write about that because it's always great when someone's got a distinctive voice. You know, if you've got a Saturday job in a supermarket or something, why not try and write a sketch about that or mm. a situation comedy about that? Because that'll be something that you know about that not everyone else will. Did you know about being a transvestite then? I did actually because I'd been doing that for about 25 years before yeah. the show. But and I knew about being in a wheelchair but pretending I couldn't couldn't walk as well, didn't we? So we we wrote about what we know. No, um, no, I think that that's very important. And you know, if you're young and you can talk to a young audience about things that only you know about, that's a great thing. Also, finally, we found out to our cost, we love rude comedy, but when you try and get rude comedy on television, the people that make television just say, uh, you're not allowed to say that. So uh, write something lovely and sweet, like with, with teddy bears in it and cartoons. No, but seriously, if it's too rude, you're not allowed to say it, are you? No, we often, we write sketches and then we put them together and we go, oh, God, every sketch is about poos or wheeze or bottoms. bums or something like that. A lot of bottoms. Oh no, here we go. Um, bottoms. So it's when, yes. yeah, try and get a variety, especially with sketches. Mm. Yeah. Okay, bye then. Bye. Bye.